Hi guys, it is a wet, stormy day here in the End Times in Paradise on Thursday morning, March 3rd, 2016, I believe. But even though it's Thursday, I'm going to pretend like it's Tuesday because I wish this video, you know, this little dog had come out a couple of days ago. I would have made this my Tuesday around. And this is the newest video from sort of a Humpty Dumpty tribe hero of mine called the Truther Girls, whoever that is. It's mainly one girl. I don't know this woman's name. I think it might be Laura. But anyway, for those of you not familiar with the Truther Girls, the reason I appreciate them so much, particularly the, the main woman who's 99% of it, is she is a Truther she is not a conspiracy whack job. She understands the difference between a truther and a conspiracy wacko. So I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to put the link on to this little six minute video. And I'm going to play about a minute, minute and a half for you. And her rant this week is called the biggest psyop ever. The biggest psyop ever. And since I know some people aren't familiar with these terms like psyop and, and whatnot, what she's saying, the gist of this message, and I say I encourage you to play it yourself, is that she thinks that there's actually a conspiracy going on behind the conspiracy theories and, and I'm not totally discounting her and her point that she's making it, it has gotten so outlandish the latest one being I think floating around the internet about how that little murdered six-year-old beauty queen John Benet Ramsey has grown up to become this woman I don't know if she's an actress or a singer. I think the name Katy Perry is, is a, a, a absolute unadulterated horseshit. Uh, John Benet Ramsey is Katy Perry. And, and it has gotten so bad out there and that these clueless moron conspiracy wackos everywhere from the Sandy Hook cockroaches to these planet Nibiru idiots has gotten so bad she's left with no other conclusion at this point is that this is an orchestrated effort by the powers that be whoever they are the, the, and there is you better believe there is a powers that be to actually put so much of this crap out there on the internet it, it, and the purpose of it is to so completely uh, just trash the name of all conspiracy theorists so that just to make an absolute laughing stock out of anybody for instance who understands that 9-11 was an inside job uh, for just just for a, for an instance, but anyway, I'm gonna play a little bit of this uh, excellent rant of hers this week, and uh, come back with a few more comments. So take it away. I wish I knew this woman's name. If I can figure out how to do this. I think that they'll do little things here and there. Uh, to, to make people suspicious uh, because the end result of this is that at this point everyone thinks that nothing that they see on the news like no tragic events like they ever happen it's all actors it's all fake I don't think that that's true at all not to say there aren't oddities and that the you know the media is entirely honest but this whole idea that like nothing ever happened um, I, I don't believe that You're talking Sandy Hook so you're being manipulated and the, what, what purpose does this serve well it totally discredits what used to be called the truth movement, which is really an activist movement. That originally we were talking about things like 9-11, GMOs, vaccines, corruption in the government, stuff like that. 
and we were basically activists. And, um, you know, over time it has deteriorated into this, like, sort of cesspool of uh, paranoia and conjecture, you know. A cesspool of paranoia and conjecture. I think that is an excellent description of, of about now about 95% of this unadulterated horseshit. A cesspool of paranoia and conjecture with an absolute abandonment of discernment and critical thinking. So the, the, the 99% of the clueless sheeple who, who just believe every word on the mainstream media, and a lot of what the mainstream media says, as she mentions right here, is, is completely believable and, and trustworthy. But these people uh, who've... Uh, who understand that not everything on the mainstream media or reflects reality uh, and have opened their minds, they've opened their minds so far that their brains have fallen out of their heads, whether this is by accident or design. I think it's more by accident, but I'm not ruling out that it is a design of, of the powers that be, but the other 99% of the clueless sheeple who have not opened their minds one degree, now just lump anybody such as this woman and myself who understands, for instance, that 9-11 was an inside job and that Building 7, for instance, is not a figment of these conspiracy wackos' imaginations. But they just automatically lump people like me into these clueless fucking morons that she's referring to in this instance who believe that Sandy Hook never happened and that they hired all of these actors, these crisis actors, and say, I have been accused by these wackos of being a hired actor to spread the New World Order Obama administration, get your guns, that I am a hired actor uh, because uh, I laugh at these uh, Sandy Hook cockroaches. But anyway, I I've been commenting about this for years. I'm not going quite as far as her necessarily, although she makes a good point uh, about this for years, that it, that is the these idiots, these clueless fucking morons like that fat ass Alex Jones and my god uh, he's just uh, just one of the more mainstream ones who have done more more to damage the real truther movement the activist movement questioning some of the unadulterated horseshit going on uh, with, with the mainstream media cheerleading on these, these real false flags. You know, I've, I've, I've been saying this for years that Alex Jones has done more. If you had to pick out one person on this planet who has done more to destroy the credibility of truthers, it would be Alex Jones, you know, spreading this Sandy Hook poison. Uh, and, and anyway, guys, I encourage you to, uh, to watch this video, to give it a thumbs up, and uh, a, a big thank you to the Truther Girls for, for pointing out the, the cesspool of paranoia that the truth movement has, has turned into as more and more uh, of these goddamn <coughs> wackos open up their minds so much that their brains fall out of their heads. Uh, oh well, I need to come back at you with the rant I did have planned for today, which was my African 
Roundup. Checking in with the continent of Africa. And uh, you, you don't need to talk, talk about a cesspool. Jesus, we're going to go from one cesspool to another. But that's coming up in one minute for this rant. Cheering on the Truther Girls. Bye, guys.